in today's episode. How do you do it? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, Saturday, Stockholm, Sweden. It's Easter and it's, I think today is called, in Swedish it's called Poskafton. In English that would be Holy Saturday. I never heard about that. I don't think it's celebrated as much in the English-speaking language countries as in Sweden, because we go crazy when it's Easter. Anyway, I'm going on my cross trainer to work out for half an hour, watching my friend Magnus, who's in South America, Dominican Republic, doing stuff. And also, sun's out. Look at that. Yeah, I got those sort of crystals in my window and they sort of turn my living room into a disco when the sun is shining. Also, it might be time. I tied it up on the balcony, but it might be time to um, start decorating it. Right? Possibly. Yeah. And by the way, my neighbour has a visitor. Can you see the squirrel? I should definitely name that squirrel. I can hear him every morning walking on the ledge of my bedroom window. Now, let's work out. Won't you join me, please? I think it's time for my dining table to have a makeover like this. So, at first I thought I would put this place mats on, but I thought, wait, that will take away from that lovely, this is my spring or Easter tablecloth. And I thought if I put down any sort of placemats, it would take away from this lovely pattern. So I remembered, wait, I got that, that see-through, sort of almost like raincoat material see-through. So I thought, why not put them a sort of placemats or just sort of protections for when I, you know, inevitably spill food on the table. So that's what I'm going to have. Looks almost like glass, doesn't it? Lovely. Let's continue. And of course, I do not know what happens when I put a warm plate on top of this. If it gets, if it melts or if it gets discoloured, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, you can't really see it, can you? Great. By the way, for those of you who don't get it, this is my tribute to John Crawford, who had plastic over everything in her apartment. But maybe not everything, but that's the joke. Here's the thing. We have a really nice actor in the show called Martin, and he has a really nice parents. And they sort of really appreciate me filming, uh, well, especially Martin, but everything backstage. So when they were here for, I think, the third time watching the show, they had a little gift for me. Oh. Wait. So, well, little and little, it's a bag. And it's been killing me not sort of opening it because I wanted, yes, as you can see, it's Easter themed. So I thought I'd show you what I got in here. Okay, people. <laughs> so, first... For my Easter table. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so stupid. But it's so cool. So this one. Yeah. A definite guest. Yeah. Next. Wait. Oh. It's a soda. I think it's a soda. Yeah. Lovely. And, of course, the colour of Easter. Now. <gasps> Vegan fudge licorice. Oh, great, because this has been killing me. Because I know that we're in here and I was so, I was so sort of, yeah, I really felt like a sweet, but I did not. I saved it. What more? Well, this is never ending. Yeah, I'm going to have one of those. Oh, I better put this in the fridge. This is, I think, is what we in Sweden call a nub. It's like a shot. You don't mix this with anything. You just put it in a little glass and... Well, in a sort of really small, I, I mean, like a shot glass. And then you have a shot of it. So I'm going to have a shot of that when it's cold. No, I'm not going to. No, 
I think it'll be better if it's sort of, if it's not cold. Yeah, so I'm not going to, yeah, good. And <laughs> napkins. Great. No, there's no end to this. Oh, something feels like an egg. And it is, it's an egg candle. Bruker veiledning. This is Norwegian. And I think Norwegian is one of the cutest languages ever. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Twice. Look at that. Norwegian. Or maybe it's not Norwegian, but I mean, they, I guess they bought it in Norway. Vegan chocolate. And vegan dark chocolate. Oh. I know what I'm going to start with. Thank you so much and happy Easter to Hannah and Gaia. I think I said that name right now. Gaia? 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 Well, Hannah, I guess, is the right name. And Gaia. Geir? 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 Geir. Yeah, that's the Norwegian way, I think. Hannah and Geir. Now I sounded finished, didn't I? Yeah, I had prepared. I'd take it all off the paper first, but that was just to show you. Um, over to me. Oh, the sun is back, damn it. Mm. Mm. Should I have a martini on the balcony? What time is it? Is it after five? I hope it's after five. I'm not drinking before five. No, it's only half past four, so that gives me time to start cleaning out here a bit. Mm. Oh. Mm. <coughs> mm. Here's my vegan dinner, my Easter vegan dinner, I guess. It's just lemon pasta with vegan parmesan cheese. It's really good, people. It's really fresh, easy to make. You should try it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.